The holiday blues. Some people feel it each year, but this year in particular, mental health concerns are heightened as COVID-19 forces many people to celebrate Thanksgiving alone. Thanksgiving is also the starting point for the entire holiday season, and we recognize that with everything that we have already endured, plus the fact that our holidays have to look differently this year to protect ourselves, our families, and our communities, the stress may become too much for some to bear. The New Jersey Association of Mental Health and Addiction Services says that the suicide rate has increased with COVID-19 and the holidays are only going to exacerbate the anxiety. Unfortunately, the suicide rate has increased uh, across all ages, but most per family among um, teenagers and young adults. And the risk has increased due to the mental health impact of COVID. And also with the holidays, even if we were not in a pandemic, the holidays tend to exacerbate depression or anxiety. This year with the social gathering cap of 10 people, many are resorting to Zoom calls to celebrate Thanksgiving with family. Throughout the pandemic, social isolation has been a major issue and that continues to be a challenge for many people. So even though for a lot of people, they can connect online and that helps alleviate the stress and the associated depression or anxiety that they could be experiencing due to the isolation. It, it, nothing really ever fully substitutes in-person interaction. Their recommendation is to start with self-care. There's the self-care and then there's also the with the professionals. So with self-care, ex exercise, good nutrition, getting enough sleep, being able to say no uh, to all the stresses. And of course, there is also a silver lining. With the pandemic, there are less invitations and less financial burden and stress. In pre-pandemic times, with so many invitations you might get, and you, if you feel obligated to go to all of these things, it's not healthy for some people. But on the bright side, the silver lining kind of, that it might be easier to find that balance uh, for well-being physical and mental well-being. During yesterday's press briefing, Governor Murphy listed some resources for New Jersey residents to use for mental health support. Any New Jersey resident can call, uh, and please make note of this, 1-866-202-HELP. That's 1-866-202-HELP. Uh, or text NJ Hope to 51684 for free confidential support. Reporting for New Jersey News Network, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.